Gujarat has the longest coastal area of around 1,600 km and is enriched with two gulfs, Gulf of Kambath and Gulf of Kutch. In Gujarat, Jamnagar district holds the longest coastal area of around 354 km. Gujarat has continental shelf of approximately 1.64 lakh square kilometer, whereas 2.64 lakh square kilometer is developed as special economic zone. Around 5.59 lakh people of state's population are directly associated with fishing and marine life. In Gujarat, we have 41 ports, whereas we have five major ports, Jakhau port, Porbandar port, Mangrul port, Viraval port and Dholai port. From the coastal area of Gujarat, we obtain more than 300 types of fish such as palm fret, cuttlefish, rani fish, ribbon fish, magra fish, catfish, crabs, tiger jinga, sand lobster and many more. Fishing industry is one of the rapidly growing industry of Gujarat. Viraval port is considered to be fishing hub of Gujarat. In Viraval and other coastal regions of Gujarat, Fishing is performed with traditional method and mechanized method. Traditional method of fishing is still performed at Chalishwar village in Viraval, which is known as the Asian fishing village. नवा नवा यंत्रो थी चालती होडियो चालू करी अने आमा मुख्यत पे गील नेटर, डोल नेटर अने त्यार बाद उग्रिश्व बासेत पची ट्रॉलर बोट नो उप्योग थवा लागियो Traditional way of fishing does not affect the biodiversity and marine life Traditional fishing method includes use of cast net, gill net, tarapa, pilona, ek lakdi etc. Jalishwar is the oldest fishing village which practices traditional method even today. The basic advantage of traditional way of fishing is that the net used generally has big holes. As a result, small fish and fingerlings do not get trapped. Troll net method and mechanized boards are generally used by big fishery companies. They have improved nets and techniques which catch the large amount of fish. The net is pulled out every three to four hours. Earlier, man used to do fishing to satisfy his hunger and carry out his livelihood. But when the commercialization in fishing industry started with the advancement of technology, it generated handsome revenue. But at the cost of marine life and various species, number of fishermen associated with fishing also increased during the course of time with increasing population. Around 40 to 50 years back, the fishermen found fish or marine animals within the range of 5 to 6 nautical miles. Now they have to go deep into the sea to catch marine species because of over-exploitation of fisheries. Cutting off trees near seashore to develop factories and dumping the toxic substance, seawater gets polluted and directly affects the marine life and biodiversity. In fish production, Gujarat ranks second after Andhra Pradesh with the production around 7,21,910 lakh metric ton. Mechanized crafting in MPA, troll net method, industrial waste, oil spillage has a hazardous effect as it has already exhausted some species and several species are on the verge of extinction. In order to earn more money, we are losing our marine life which is equally important for maintaining the ecological balance. God has created this world in an immense manner. If a particular species of animal is affected, it has adverse effect on every living creature, including humans. It has adverse effect on every living creature, including humans. Now, if we don't stop the method and techniques of fishing for our financial greed to earn crores of rupees at the cost of marine life, there is a possibility that our next generation may not enjoy the benefits of nature. As the livelihood of fisherfolk is dependent on fishing, it may also have adverse effect on revenue of future generation. Looking at the present scenario of marine life, we must use sustainable methods of fishing and hand over a healthy earth to our future generation.